Hi everyone, and welcome to the show. Um, today I wanted to just take a minute to talk about what's been up with me since I've kind of disappeared from YouTube for a little while here. Um, first of all, I just kind of, right after the inauguration, you know, I don't want to talk politics, but I just didn't feel like sitting down here and talking about photography or my business. Um, I was a little busy with things. I had a lot of video projects and photography projects going on, and I just kind of, the more I got away for it, the less I felt like doing it, and then I just kind of started questioning why I was doing it, doing the show in the first place. So um, let me start by backing up. Uh, I, uh, I was watching, I was looking at Facebook the other day, um, probably sometime last week, and that On This Day memory popped up. And it was a photo of me here in the studio, actually, it would be behind me before that wall was built. And it reminded me, um, the owner of the studio had taken, it reminded me that I have been here now for two years full time, uh, living and working. I've worked out of here longer than that, but I had left a long-term relationship in a house I had and moved in here, and my goal was to focus completely on photography, to grow the business, to become a better photographer, to learn videography better, you know, all the things that went with it, do more creative stuff with the blog, and, you know, shoot film, use my vintage cameras, and talk about all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, that year took me... Um, couple months to get settled in here I built out the space you know made it more livable and to my standards um, made it more of a space that I could work in and all all those kind of things and as spring came you know I was just into a new lifestyle and I got really back into cycling started hanging out with all my cycling friends a bunch um, was riding a lot um, a lot of the friends I another group that I had met through the events I had been shooting as I'd been out more and more started to become really really good friends and so when I wasn't shooting them professionally, I was also going to a lot of the events they had, and um, some personal, some professional, and all kinds of stuff like that. And then as much as I swore I wouldn't do it, I actually um, kind of fell in with, with a woman and got carried away a little bit in that situation and our little group of friends and community that developed there. And before I knew it, it came around to last winter and I'd been here a year, and I started to look and I was like, I've taken care of business, I have become a better photographer, but all the extra stuff that I'd kind of planned on doing that just staying very, very focused on this, I just started to realize I hadn't done. And uh, so that's when I started doing this show. And then a few things personally happened, my relationship started to fall apart, and then all of that kind of went to pieces again. Another summer went by where I was spending a lot of time doing stuff that was fun and stuff, you know, doing my work, but just not doing the kind of things like this that I've really wanted to. So uh, a couple things motivated me looking at that two year, you know, mark um, and that chance to reflect back. Um, and then I, I was watching um, a YouTube channel I really like, uh, Chase Jarvis and his Chase Jarvis Raw show. I'll put a link below. And he was talking about this, uh, the concept of time. And it's one of the things I'd kind of been telling myself. It's like, well, I just haven't had the time to do stuff like this. I just haven't had the time to shoot my film cameras, you know, and learn Adobe After Effects on a lot of the stuff I've wanted to do. And in his video, it was kind of interesting. He was talking about, um, you know, it's a concept that I've heard before, but the idea that whenever you want to say, whenever you're going to say, I don't have the time for that, instead say, it's not a priority for me right now. And that really hit home when I used it in certain ways. You know, if it makes you cringe a little bit, then you realize maybe you're not doing the right things. And the one way when I'd say, hmm, becoming a better videography isn't a priority for me right now. You know, videographer, that, you know, that bothered me. You know, you know, doing the creative stuff with my blog and my film cameras and doing some more stuff in the studio here that I wanted to do that might not necessarily be related to the business, but that keep me thinking creative, that keep me learning new things, you know. So that, that started to bother me and I realized that, you know, I do have the time, I just need to make the time. And the other video I saw was by Ted Forbes on the art of photography and I'll link him up too. And he was talking about how he really believes you could do anything you want. And he was responding to a um, young lady who had written in about wanting to be a photographer and what he would do and if he thought he could do it. And he was saying that, he really believes you can. You could still be a professional photographer, videographer, whatever kind of creative you want to be. It's just about how much you're willing to sacrifice. And that hit home a lot too. And I feel, you know, when I started out and I was getting into this, that's what I did. And when I moved here, the goal was to do that even more so, like more time for this. So a couple of those things, you know, 
kind of hit home and I decided I do want to get back into this. This is something I want to be doing and I do want to make videos and become better at it. And like I said, do some of a lot of the other creative things and make the time for them. So I started to think about the show and why, um, why to do it. And the one reason is what I've been saying is it's just, it makes me think creatively and it makes me a better videographer. When I first started this channel, it was a beer review channel, but the reason was not to actually review beer, review beers. It was fun and all, but the, the actual goal was to learn how to shoot and edit and do all the kind of video stuff. And it, and it was worth it because then when clients started asking me, hey, do you also do videography and, st you know, and the stills you've been doing for us? I was able to say yes, and I knew what I was doing a little bit. So, and, you know, and I, and I also learned that lesson from the days of doing my daily blog where, you know, one of my biggest clients actually found me because of my blog that I had been doing totally as a hobby. And the goal was to shoot a photo every day and edit it and write about it. And that made me such a better photographer that when the calls started coming in, I was prepared to be a professional photographer. So one of the reasons that, you know, I just, I know I'm never going to be a YouTube sensation. You know, it's it, that, you know, that kind of stuff is all the people who have been early. I think I'm the ones who are going to get most of the views and stuff like that. But the reason to do it is for me to, be, to always be improving. The other thing I was thinking is, I do think there is a little bit of an audience here for what I do and the fact that I'm not a giant New York photographer or a giant Los Angeles photographer. I come from a mid-size, a smaller city, and I think I do a lot of work that might be more relevant to, you know, a lot of people who are out there looking for stuff. And so I just decided I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing and doing the show about me and the way I do things. Like when I review a piece of gear, it's going to be about because I use it and how it works for me, not technical specs. There's going to be a million people who tell you how many megapixels a camera has. I want to know how it works on a job. I want to know how it works doing something like this. Same thing. I just had a problem with my microphone, my um, lapel mic. So I'm doing a different setup here with the mic today. And um, another kind of thing that I do an episode on and what's wrong with that mic and is that mic worth buying and how am I going to fix it and all that kind of stuff, you know, moving forward, just, you know, about my business. I wouldn't mind talking about some of my vintage cameras too, like, cause I do intend to get back into shooting some of those. And so, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do full episodes on each little thing, or, or I'm trying to think if I should do an episode with our each episode with segments, you know what I mean? Kind of a, we can review what I've been up to working on a technical thing, you know, uh, stuff like that, you know, continuing on. But either way, I'm going to start putting up another one of these out every Friday and really get back into it and really be hitting the creative stuff along with all the business stuff I have going on. So I hope you'll continue to tune in and join me. And uh, thanks for watching.